What is up everyone? Welcome back to Swigadin 5. So we got half of the water wall down in the middle here. We took the right path last time. Now we're going to take the left path. I showed off all the enemies in this area in the last episode. I'm going to be cutting out the random battles. Okay, lowered that door. Guardian Scarf. So that's the second Guardian piece we've gotten. Boost magic defense plus 10. That's really good. Uh, who do I want to give it to? I guess I'll give it to Leon. Oh, wow. You can equip it. And I have a badge equipped too. Wow. Okay. That's pretty handy. So now I get plus 15 to magic defense. I wouldn't mind giving some people some mega medicine though. That way we can heal in battle. Leave that equipped on him. Uh, Kyle, I think, can already heal, right? He has the water rune, or did I remove that? No, I got it on him. Okay. I did remove it from early on in the game, but I must have equipped it on him again. We'll give him the mega medicine. Yes, I want to equip it. There we go. That's kind of weird. Alright. Not too bad. Guardian Scarf. On the other side of this area, I got the basic magic. Uh, which will... Right here is basic magic. It allows us to raise our 2 to rank to B. So we can get our magic defense to a B. With the main character in Leon. I gave them both magic defense because I feel, I feel it's like the best to give. You can already get a lot of physical defense from your armor and everything. And I also gave them attack as well. So they have like a balance. Attack and magic defense. That way they have a balance between defense and offense. Since I do their combo attack quite a bit, especially against bosses, I always do the combo attack. I sometimes do it in random encounters too, but most of the time I use it on bosses. Okay, open another door. Should have gave Marun a water rune, but I didn't think about it when I was in Rathleet. Uh Marun's really good with the water rune. He's got an A in it. It fits the beavers thematically, because obviously beavers in the water, you know. But also it's really good with for the beavers as well because they're they're fast. So like Marun, his speed is 144. So he'll be able to heal with the water rune uh, before the enemy can attack. Now sometimes it's better to heal after the boss attacks because that way you take damage and then you automatically hit, you heal after the boss attacks. You just heal up basically all the damage that the boss deals. So it's not like going after the boss is necessarily, healing after the boss is necessarily a bad thing, but I just prefer to heal before the boss. Like, the boss will hit me, we'll, we'll take our turns, the boss will hit me with an AoE, and then at the start of the next turn I'll heal it. it it's essentially the same thing, it's just...
I just prefer to heal before the boss. Another reason it's better to heal before the boss is if your healer is about to die and the boss goes first and kills the healer, well, you're not going to be able to heal. So, it's another reason it's better to heal first. I'm getting kind of sidetracked here. I lost track of where I was at. Okay, here we go. Alright, yeah. Robo Destiny. Nice. Uh, HP plus 10, yeah. I remember those. We, we'll get the D Destiny set as we progress to the game. They all have... Uh, they all had 10 to defense. Or 10 to HP, I mean. I guess I'll give it to Maroon. Maroon. Let me go ahead and heal up some here. Okay, I think that's everything here, right? We already lowered the wall. Was there any other paths we could take? I don't think so. I think I went everywhere. Let's go back up then. If we're going that way though, let's go back and save it. Alright, went ahead and saved it. And we'll continue past where the wall is at. What do we have here? This looks similar to Suikoden 2. This was as far as I got before. I couldn't get this door to budge. This pattern, doesn't it look like the Dawn Rune? Yes, and that's exactly why I brought you here. <laughs> you didn't think I brought outsiders here as a mere favor to Lucretia, did you? So that's why. Come, Prince. Bring forth your power. Intuition was right. I don't believe it. These ruins are still alive? Uh, Wait. You promised you'd do what you were told. Uh, oh. All right. Even I don't know what's beyond this point. You better be careful. Okay. Oh, there's a save point here. I guess I didn't need to save it, but whatever. Went ahead and saved it again. Cool. Oh. Wow. Ah. Just as I thought. What do you mean by that? A river flows into Sarah's Lake, but nothing flows out of it. Do you know why the lake doesn't overflow? I've always heard there's a hole at the bottom of the lake, and the water flows underground from there. No. Water does flow into an underground water vein, but it doesn't go through a hole. It goes through here. Well, how come this place is an overflow then? Huh? Answer that one, Zwag. So it looks like my hypothesis, hypothesis was correct. 
hypothesis. Cyrus Lake is artificial. It was created by the Sindar. Okay, by the way, we did get all the treasure in this place, so that's good. I went and checked to make sure. Because I don't want to miss anything, obviously. Created by the Sindar. If we go a little further, I think you'll understand. Okay, anything this way? Nope. Uh oh. What's going on? Prince, look. It's Law Jin, the mystical genies of the lamp. <laughs> nah, no, I'm kidding. Law Jin, I just said it. Alright, it's boss time against two La Jin, the mystical genies of the lamp. Nah, I'm kidding. It's boss time against two Diamond Sons. Alright, so we'll do Swarm Protector. Uh, sure, we'll do Breath of Ice. Get some chip damage in on them. Uh, Lorelei, Lightning Rune. Uh, yeah, Soaring Boat technically does more damage. Okay, so one of them has good magic defense, the other one has good physical defense, I'm guessing. Since one's taking more damage than the other. Oh, it's doing like some sort of earthquake. That's not good. And of course it stuns us. Lovely. Okay, Kyle, Kindness Rain, Maroon Attack, that one, Zwag Attack that one, and we'll do another Soaring Bolt. Rough of Ice. Fire and Ice don't... Didn't they ever tell the bosses Fire and Ice don't mix? Leon's about to die. I need to hurry up. Because she has the boost rune and she'll automatically die after... He turns here. But we should be able to finish this one off, maybe. Hopefully. Nope, she's about to die. I should I maybe I shouldn't have gave her the boost rune. She got stunned that one turn, it kinda messed everything up. Yep, she's dead. But, she made uh, Kyle and them berserk. Big mistake. They done goof now. There, we got one of them almost dead. Nice crit. Casting Blizzard on us, bro. <laughs> Alright, Kyle. We're gonna need a good heals here, buddy. Lorelei, Berserk Blow. Kindness Rain is so good.
or one down. Earthquake. All right, Lorelei and Zweig, finish it. Hopefully. Nope, not quite. One more round. I guess that would be called. I guess that would be Flame Strike, huh? Tack, tack, tack. Thunder Runner. There we go, got it, nice. And we get a bunch of stuff there. We get Rage Piece, a Flowing Piece. So that's, I think, number three of each of those, I think. 54,000 Poach because of Egbert. And the Prosperity stuff that the main character has. Um, 50 Party SP. A Mega Medicine and a Flame Armor. So very nice. A lot of stuff there. It's a shame Leon didn't get any EXP, but oh well. I don't think the main character leveled up anyway. So she she probably wouldn't have leveled up the either. Alright, let's continue on. And go deeper in now. Let me heal up some just so Leon doesn't die. We'll probably get fully healed or something, but uh, I'll just go ahead and heal anyway. Just to play it safe, you know. Head this way. Got a door here. Is this all there is? Looks like a dead end. Oh, Dawn Rune again. Yikes. Wow, there's a Dawn Rune here. And it's just like the one on the door we saw before. I wonder what that could mean. That stupid thing made me jump, but I guess it was just glowing. Got some tablets over here. This writing is Sindar. Hey, glasses guy. What happened to this key to destroy in Hatred Fortress? We haven't seen any keys anywhere. Actually, we have. The key has been there all along. Plenty of it, in fact. In Saris Lake. Huh? Yes, it looks like I was definitely right. And the ruins themselves function perfectly. Prince. I've seen all I need to see. Let's head back for now. Already? To be honest, I'm curious to try it outright away. But now is not the time. Lucretia is waiting for us at Rathleet. I'm sure you have other questions, but I'll explain everything there. Okay. Yep, so nothing else we can do here. Let's hurry back. I need some explanations or my head's gonna going to explode. Alright, we'll get back to the save point and I'll end the video here. In the next episode, we'll see what happens. Well, I already know what's going to happen, but I'm not going to tell you guys. I don't spoil my own Let's Plays. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.